Hey, this is Josh from Team Cubify. Today we're going to talk about sculpting from scratch and the new mashup tools in Cubify Sculpt. Cubify Sculpt lets you create freeform digital designs by sculpting with virtual clay. And now it includes a new mashup tool for the ultimate and freedom and flexibility. Now you can bring in existing files, put them together, and create imaginative new designs. It's an intuitive way to create in 3D and then print it right on your cube. We'll start by looking at the basic sculpting functions in Cubify Sculpt. I'm going to begin with a basic sphere of virtual clay. Because I want our face model to be symmetrical, I'll start by defining the mirror plane before I start sculpting. That way what I do on the right happens on the left. If I make a mistake as I did here with the mouth, it's easy to undo, go back, change the size of the tool, and try again. I can make the tool larger or smaller just by pressing the plus or minus key on the keyboard. I can also change the strength of the tool using the slider on the Dyna bar. And here, I'll change the tool to add clay rather than subtract it. Now we add the eyebrow ridge and the nose. To add the eye sockets, I'll change my tool back to where it removes clay. For the next step, I can change the tool to smoothing mode. It's like digital sandpaper to smooth away the bottom of the mouth. For the eyes, I'll use the mashup tool to just import a basic sphere, but more on mashups in a minute. I'll mirror the model again and add the eyeball to the other side. I'll add some nice detail by using the tug tool and pulling the eyebrows as I need to. I can also add color to the model by using the paint tool. This adds a really nice touch to the eyes for this model. It's also really easy to change the clay coarseness, which I've done here to make the nostrils. Now for the teeth, I'll use the mashup tool again, just import some basic blocks, and then I'll paint those after I place them. And to finish it off, I'm using the tug tool again to add some fine details here and there on the curve of the mouth. So there's our basic face. Next, I'll show you how to use the mashup tools in Cubify Sculpt to bring in existing files and make a whole new design. For our mashup model, we're going to make a robot chicken. For this model, I'm going to start with a basic sphere of clay. I could also start with a cube, a cylinder, or a cone. We'll click the mashup tool and import our wing STL file. Auto alignment is on by default, so as I move the wing over the ball of clay, you can see that it automatically aligns itself. And I'll use the positioning widget to control the placement, rotation, and scale of the wing. The positioning widget is a simple, intuitive way to position models. I'll make sure to get the wing right where we want it and size it as well. So now we'll import another STL, the claw foot. Also, if I use only the translation arrows on the positioning widget, I can avoid having the model automatically align. Note that in mashup mode, we can support multiple files and freely switch between them for modifications before we hit apply and bake them into the core model. So after I position the foot and hit apply, all the changes are baked in. Now I'll use the mirror tool to copy the changes from the right to the left. I can then sculpt on the mashup model that we've created using multiple files. Now I'll use the tug tool on the wings. I've also switched on the dynamic mirror tool so that the alterations I make on the right are mirrored on the left as you can see here. Using the mashup tool I can continue bringing in STLs and adding them to my model. Here I've brought in a robot head and positioned it to make our final robot chicken model. Hope that helps. This is Josh from Team Cubify signing off.